Hello there. Welcome to Anybody Can Code C++ series. So if you are new to this series, you can click on the card that's above to check out our previous videos. Hello there. Welcome to the bonus episode of ABC series using C++ from Facebook. So in this episode, uh, we'll be trying to, uh, you know, uh, club together all the things, all the concepts, what we have uh, uh, thought so far in the other videos, the previous videos, and we'll be writing a, a pretty big code. Uh, the code will be pretty big, but uh, the concepts will be quite simpler since you have understood it already. So if you have not understood, please go back to the previous videos and have a look at it. So uh, this code uh, will be uh, related to three basic functions. Okay, so the code is really simple. So what we'll be doing is we'll be writing one big code wherein a user will decide what he wants. Okay, the code will have uh, uh, you know a function to print the limited number of Fibonacci series uh, and also a function to print a pattern, a square, a simple uh, square pattern based on the number what the user provides. Okay, so uh, that is what we will be uh, doing in this particular video. Okay, so let's try to do it in the quickest and the efficient most uh, uh, form that we can do. So uh, let me just uh, take you across to the platform and uh, uh, tell you how it is done. So you can see we are in the uh, platform. I've got this template over here. So uh, what I'll do is uh, first I'll create a class, guys. Uh, so let me just uh, remove this screen. So the class, what I'll be creating, I'll just uh, name it as a sample. Okay, so after uh, creating this class, okay, so this is done. So after creating this class, uh, what I'll do is uh, the first function Right, so the first function what I'll be writing is uh, prime. Correct. So here I'll be taking the arguments from the main method. So the argument, let's say uh, it will be x, and here I'll not be returning anything to the main function. So I'll just write uh, void as a return type over here, and uh, I'll just write the body of this particular function. So uh, here, uh, how do you check uh, for uh, prime? Right. So what you'll do is uh, you'll just go on uh, checking if it is divisible by any other number. Right. So starting from uh, uh, two. So you're supposed to check it starting from two till i uh, less than x by two. So why x by two is because uh, uh, any of uh, the divisors of any number, uh, it cannot be more than uh, uh, half of its uh, actual size. Uh, so let's say I have got a number seven. So the maximum divisor it can have if it is having is uh, seven by two, that is uh, three okay, when it comes to integers, right? So that is why it is i uh, less than x by two. Okay, so we have got this condition. So what we're checking is if uh, x modulo i, okay, we are checking if it is equally divisible, is equal to equal to zero, okay, which means that uh, it is not a prime, right? So I'll just uh, raise a flag saying that it is not a prime. So I've not initialized flag. Let me just initialize the flag over here. So flag I'll just initialize as one and that is done. So after this particular loop, so since uh, this loop is not required. If it is not a prime, I'll just break the loop. Okay, so after the loop, uh, I'll just write a statement. Okay, so if flag, okay, which means that if it is one, if it is still one, okay, if it is still one, which means it is a prime, right? So I'll just uh, type that uh, the number is prime. Okay, the number is prime, that is done. And then, uh, Okay, else part has to be written. So in the else part, I'll give the statement saying that the number is not prime. As simple as that. The number is not prime. Okay, so uh, this is a very simple code for prime, guys, wherein you'll be checking if the uh, number is prime. So this is done. And after this, uh, I'll be writing a function related to Fibonacci series. Okay, so I'll also uh, keep it in public access specify. So I'll not be uh, returning anything to the main method. So void uh, fib is what the function name I'll be giving. And I'll take the limit as x again. So inside this, let me just increase the size. Yeah, I hope you can see the code now. So uh, public void fib, no, see, so I'll just take two variables first, a is equal to zero and uh, b is equal to one because in Fibonacci series, the first two numbers are supposed to be that, right? So I'll just uh, print uh, my a value, okay? And after a space, I'll print my b value and again a space, okay, to make it look fancier. And then uh, I'll just 
uh, you know, uh, take the limits using the loop. So for int i is equal to three. So it is supposed to from uh, start from three, right? So first two numbers I've given. So the next number it is supposed to start from. So i less than or equal to my x value, i plus plus. Okay, so this is the loop what I've got. And uh, here I'll take a variable called as fib and I'll just uh, say that fib is equal to a plus b. Okay, so I've not taken fib over here. Let me just take uh, fib over here. So fib, I'll just initialize it as one. Okay, and after this is done, we'll have to do a swap, right? So my next a is going to be b. My next b is going to be fib. Okay, so once this is done, I'm supposed to print the Fibonacci series, right? So uh, C out, fib, okay, and then uh, space over there. Okay. So after this is done, just give a end end so that it goes to the next line. And we are done. Okay. So this is our code for Fibonacci. So uh, there will be a lot of errors, guys. So uh, we have, uh, I have missed certain things, okay, so uh, that we can, you know, simultaneously tell you what are the errors or what are the common errors that you'll be facing. So we'll have, solve all those errors later. So the last thing is uh, my pattern, right? So my pattern, a simple square pattern. So here also I'll take the limit as X. So here what I'll do is I'll take two loops. Uh, one will be my I -th loop starting from zero uh, till uh, I less than, let's say I'll take a square matrix of five cross five, so five. Okay, so i plus plus. So I'll just do the same thing over here. Uh, after the for i -th loop, I'll take uh, j -th loop for the rows. So for int j is equal to zero, uh, j less than five again because it is five cross five, and then j plus plus. Okay, so here what am I supposed to? Do? I'm just supposed to print the number whatever uh, the user gives me. Uh, so the number is x, right? So x will be giving and then a space and semicolon and after uh, each row it is supposed to go to the next line right so let us just give endl over here so that it goes to the next line so we have finished all these uh, you know three functions of us uh, pretty simple functions of us and uh, uh, we, we have uh, we have done it right so that's it so in this particular main method is what we're supposed to do so first i'll create an object for my uh, class so object is created and then I'll write certain statements. Okay, so I'll just write certain statements saying that. Uh, okay, let's say type one for uh, uh, type one to check for prime. Okay, so let's just write that out to check for uh, prime. Okay, so after this is done, uh, it is supposed to go to the next line. So end L and close. Okay, so let me just copy this to save time. Okay, next, after this is done, uh, my second function was for uh, Fibonacci, right? So I'll just uh, write down here, type two uh, for Fibonacci series. Okay, so this is done. And after this is done, uh, I'll write a statement for uh, pattern checking, not just a pattern. Okay, so type three for printing the pattern. Okay, so we have uh, done everything. Now, what we'll do over here is, we'll use something called as a switch case. But before that, let me just scan the uh, number what the user gives. I'll uh, take it in as uh, X. Okay, I'll take it in as X. So here, I've not declared X, let me declare X. So X is declared, X is scanned. And then as I told, I'll be using something called as uh, switch cases. So I'll be using it for X, so, here case one, okay, case one. If I've got case one, which means that I've typed one, okay, if they've typed done, I'm supposed to uh, give out a statement, let's say, enter the number. Okay, I've given a statement called as enter the number and I've taken the cursor to the next line. And then uh, we're supposed to give a function call to the prime, okay, so obj dot uh, prime was a method right so this is what we'll be doing we'll be calling the function from the uh, class okay this is case one so similarly let me do the same for all the other cases so case two was for my uh, Fibonacci series right so let me just write that down so here uh, enter the limit so for Fibonacci you would need the limit right so I'll just write down that 
and we have not passed the parameter x, right? So just uh, write the x as our, I can take y because I've already taken x, taken y, and uh, we have not scanned the number, right? So c in y semicolon, and we have not declared y, so in y. Okay, so this is what we have done. So similarly over here, uh, I'll take one more variable called as in pi and I'll uh, uh, scan it okay, using C in. So this is done and I'm passing the parameter. Now let me just uh, uh, do it for my pattern. So case three should be for my pattern. So enter the number and L. So I'll just uh, take a variable called as Y and after giving that statement, I'll just ask them to, you know, scan the number so variable is y and i'll be passing the variable y okay so we have finished our code guys uh, pretty simple and decent it, it looks pretty lengthy but uh, it's pretty simple right so as i told uh, i have left some spaces and uh, i've uh, done some errors so that uh, you know you'll be able to identify what are the common errors uh, what uh, you might be facing while you're coding Okay, so let me just run this code and uh, uh, tell you how to solve those things accordingly. So the first thing is, uh, uh, okay, so you can see over here, expected initializer before uh, C out. Okay, Y was not declared in this particular scope. So uh, as I told, uh, we were supposed to initialize Y. Okay, so have we initialized? Yes, but there is no semicolon. So uh, if you have seen all the videos, from right from the beginning, I've been saying that semicolon is really important. So wherever it is, please make sure you provide the semicolons accordingly. Okay, so uh, that was one error. And the other error, uh, I think it, it's quite simpler. The codes are quite simpler. So that you'll be able to uh, pass them accordingly. So uh, let's just try to uh, proofread the codes now. So they are asking us to type something. The compiler is asking us to type something. So I'll just type one. Okay, so one is for prime. So it is asking us to enter the number. So I'll just type uh, a seven over here. Uh, so it is saying, uh, uh, you know, the number is prime and then uh, it is again going on asking us enter the limit. So what exactly is happening over here is I have not given any break statements, right? So just to drag this down. So switch, uh, switch syntax. Okay. So if you have not given any break statements, it will go on executing all the things line by line. So case one will be done. Case two will be done. Case three will be done. Right. So uh, if we do not give any, uh, uh, you know, breaks, it will go on executing everything. So the next one is enter the limit is what it is saying. So let's just say three. I need uh, Fibonacci numbers uh, uh, till three. Okay. But it is saying the number is prime again. Uh, enter the number. So five, the number is prime. So something and all the other has happened. So let me just stop, uh, try giving breaks, break statements over here. So break is given for case two. Let me just give a break statement for case one and uh, break statement uh, for case three. Okay, so we have given break statements for everything. Now let's try to run this particular code. Okay, now we can see uh, it's being appropriate. Enter the number seven, the number is prime, so it's getting cancelled. Okay, now let's check it for uh, our Fibonacci series. So I'll just give two. Okay, enter the limit it is saying, I'll give uh, three. I need, uh, okay, it's still taking uh, prime. Okay, the number is prime is what it is saying. So, okay, so here we have just passed the name of the function as prime, right? But the function name was fib and uh, here the function name was pattern, right? So uh, please make sure if you're co uh, copying the codes, right? Uh, you change the name of the functions or at least uh, if there are function overloading that has to happen, it will happen accordingly based on the arguments. So now let's give for uh, Fibonacci. So limit is three. Okay. Zero, one, one. Absolutely correct. Okay. Now let's check for the last function that is uh, uh, printing the square pattern. Uh, so I want a square pattern. I need a number now. Let's say 17. Uh, so it is printing 17, uh, you know, five cross five times or 25 times. Right. So uh, this is a very simple code, guys, uh, where, uh, you know, we, I've tried to implement all the things what uh, I've taught you so far. So classes, be it classes, objects, uh, you know, oops, concepts, loops, or condition statements, or, uh, you know, the only thing new here was switch cases. 
So this is uh, uh, something new, right? So uh, basically, there are a lot of other things which you can learn on your own. So please try to experiment on your own. And uh, uh, I, I believe uh, you'll be able to ace because you've got all the fundamentals right uh, based on the series, and you'll definitely be able to uh, ace in the uh, language C plus plus, right? So uh, do well, guys, and uh, uh, all the best. And uh, please do practice on your own. Happy learning. Hope you like the video. Do not forget to subscribe and do click on the bell icon so that you get notified when the further videos are released. And also check out our Instagram page and WhatsApp broadcast services. The links are in the description below.